Welcome to Syndicate Stats, and it's race day here in Maribor. With Luke out with injury and Greg crashing in qualifying, Loris was out on the hill as a lone wolf for finals. But this year he has a slightly different game plan when it comes to racing. Uh, basically last year I was like, every year I've been racing and I was like committed to grabbing points instead of thinking about the race. And that's why I kind of like struggle at World Champ just because like it's a one race thing. And so I was like, ah, just if you feel good, don't think about not yet. Yeah, don't think about crashing and go fast because I think winning is better than overall. Maybe I don't know. So today we're going to take a closer look at Loris's race run with the help of Elliot Jackson's website, World Cup Stats. Rain was due in today, but the sky stayed clear and the track stayed dry. Everything was looking good for Loris's 48th World Cup. Things were looking good at the top. In the first sector he was 0.29 in front of 5th place Matt Walker. In the second sector he was 0.24 in front of Amory Pierron. By split 2 he was just over half a second behind the winner, Loic Bruni. But in the third sector, disaster struck. He just crashed! Did he hit that tree? Oh, he's just limped off. Oh no, he's got his bike. Fuck! He crashed? Yep. Where Sam Hill crashed. He went in and his bike just snapped. He went over the bars. As you can see here, he didn't let it affect him too much. And in sector 4, he was the 8th fastest. Almost a second quicker than Matt Walker. And only 0.2 behind Loic Bruni. In the final sector, he was 29th. Just 0.69 behind Loic. Yeah. Just like, I wanted to go fast, so I don't really have regrets, like, but it was a big one, but I like, didn't feel like too big, because I went like, I don't know, for some reason, didn't really hit the ground hard, so it's good. So good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all good. My heart stopped. 